The Russians are coming. And this time, they're not just trying to tamper with U.S. elections. They're going after our country's critical infrastructure. The Department of Homeland Security and the FBI have recently accused Moscow of orchestrating a series of cyber attacks targeting key public utilities here in the United States. In fact, the Russian cyber threat was significant enough for the U.S. Computer Emergency Readiness Team to issue an alert on March 15th to warn the sector and the public at large. These agencies say that the Kremlin is actively targeting the energy sector, public utilities, aviation, and critical manufacturing. So here's the frightening part. U.S. officials say that the Russians likely have their fingers on the switches and could potentially turn them off at any time. Ah, oh, crap. Um, I think I have a flashlight here somewhere. Okay, great. Aha, yes, great. Um, well, this is actually quite a predicament because our light board here is no good without actual light. Um, oh, fantastic. This must have uh, just been a false alarm. So, uh, as I was saying, this all sounds like something straight from a science fiction movie, right? Wrong. If you don't think it can happen here, think again. The Russians have already demonstrated that they have the capability to pull the plug. In December of 2015, Moscow launched a cyber attack that cut electricity to nearly a quarter million Ukrainians. That is 250,000 people without power. This was the first active cyber attack intended to disrupt the power grid, and it shocked the world. Some experts actually believe that Russia is using Ukraine as a real-life laboratory to test out new cyber weapons before potentially turning them to even bigger targets, like here in the United States. U.S. officials say Russian strikes against our critical infrastructure really started to rev up in late 2015, right around the time the Kremlin kicked off its covert campaign to meddle in the U.S. 2016 presidential elections. And speaking of which, on the same day that the U.S. CERT issued that cyber alert, the Trump administration slapped new sanctions on Russia as part of an effort to punish Moscow for interfering in the 2016 election. These sanctions could further escalate tensions between the United States and Russia, and there's no knowing if and how Moscow might retaliate. What we do know is that they have the potential capability to cause real chaos by controlling portions of our country's critical infrastructure. If Russian hackers shut down the power grid, it could also disrupt your business, putting a big hole in your bottom line. In addition, your company could be part of a targeting chain. Your business may share common vendors with a public utility. And if that's the case, an attacker may use your company as an intermediary to gain access to its intended target. A Russian cyber attack on critical infrastructure poses real risks to your business. So what steps can you take to protect your company? Here are the top three must-dos. First things first, stay alert. Pay attention to reports of cyber attacks on critical infrastructure. Then determine if and how these cyber threats may affect you. If the incident involved a targeting chain, see if you share any vendors with the victims. If you do, make sure those vendors have appropriately resolved the incident. Second, have an incident response plan and a business continuity plan in place. Consider a secondary power source or backup protection, either for your typical business operations or for data and information systems. If a cyber attack strikes a power grid, there's no knowing how long you'll be without electricity. And remember, without electricity, you can't have a fully functioning company. Then lastly, be a good cyber citizen. Treat cyber breaches the same way you would treat an Amber Alert. Have your security team keep an eye out for any potential indicators of compromise or abnormal cyber activities. Then be sure to report those observations to the proper authorities. As the Department of Homeland Security puts it, if you see something, say something. By protecting your company, you can then also help protect the public and keep our country safe from cyber attacks to critical infrastructure.